श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम कठोपनिषद टेल्स टू नचिकेत थ्रू यमराज अस्ति इति उपलब्धव्य अस्ति इति उपलब्धस्य तत्व भावेन प्रसीदति द ट्रूथ इज एक्सपीरियंस एज बीइंग दिस इज द बेसिक रूल वेयर नोइंग इज बीइंग इज स्पिरिचुअल पाथ एंड वेयर नोइंग इज नॉट बीइंग इज द पाथ ऑफ संसार दिस इज द थम रूल फॉर एग्जाम्पल This is a mic. <coughs> I know this is a mic, and I also know that I am not the mic. This is the most important thing to be recognized. Now multiply this example. Suppose you say this is a donkey. I know this is a donkey, and what is most important more than knowing a donkey? then i am not a donkey see so that experience where knowing is not being is samsar and what is the spiritual path knowing is being where knowing is being there the language fails yato vacho nivartante aprapya manasasa see so दिस एग्जाम्पल आई है गिवन माइक थोड़ा कम करना आई एम टॉकिंग लिटिल हेजिटेंटली बिकॉज फील नहीं ही कैन सी मी देर सो बेटर वंस आई वॉज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम बॉम्बे टू नॉट बॉम्बे लंडन टू बॉम्बे एंड यू नो दिस डेज द चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज ऑफ द सॉफ्टी वायरस they gift their parents not with a uh, blouse piece and uh, a, you know a banyan for the parents as a gift but they gift that you know mom dad you have never been out of this you know useless town why don't you go to europe and the parents are excited and they go such people i come across a lot when i fly so one man came and asked me in the flight when i was standing near the toilet for relaxing my legs and all that he said um, are you a swami i said any objection suddenly somebody asking this question he said no 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 are you a swami so i kept quiet i thought maybe repeating you know there's cut 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 are you swami are you swami are you swami I didn't reply. Then he looked behind, and his wife was watching him and called him. You don't know even how to talk. That was the meaning. So she came. He came to her. You sit down here. I'll go and talk to him. And when ladies start talking to a new person, they are at their best. That's the only time. So she came. <coughs> Uh, do you know swami anubhavananda he looks like you i watch him on tv now what did black and i give i said yes no how come yes and no i said yes this is like that only i know him because i am i don't know him because i don't know as you know him someone other than you see the difference on the spiritual path knowing is being on the samsarik path knowing is not being this is the rule now i am do i have to prove it to anybody if the best doctor in the world comes and tells me excuse me swami ji you don't exist 
Will I accept it? Unless I have to take a pension, I don't have to produce a certificate that I am still alive. Those who have to take pension, they have to show it. Go to the bank and show the paper. See, that fellow doesn't look at you. Only paper he wants. See. So, <clears throat> that where knowing is being is the spiritual acme, the ultimate. Where knowing is not being is samsara. Now, on the basis of this principle, Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi brings out the best thesis ever produced in the world. Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi never observed Maunam. Many people have this notion. He was observing Mauna for 18 years. He didn't observe Mauna. Then he felt no need to talk. See how simple it is. Mauna means you have the urge to talk. I should not say my neighbor's daughter-in-law is better than my own. When you know, you should not say, and yet we can't keep our mouth shut. That is Maunam. The real Maunam is this. When there is no need, there is no urge to talk. And therefore, after 18 years, when his uh, relations came and they uh, found him, oh, it is here, our Ramana. He was missing so many years. So when he started, he was asked, he started talking with great difficulty. He could not speak. Because medically, here there are medical doctors, so I had to show my wisdom in medicine also. Otherwise, they will not listen to me. And he said, you know, when you are in Rome, be Roman. When you are in America, wash dishes. So, there is something called as unused atrophy. If you do not use any organ for long, that organ loses its functional ability. This is the rule. And this rule I have myself experienced. Earlier I used to use pen and paper for writing so many thousands of pages I must have written. But since the avatar of laptop, now everything is done on the laptop as a result the writing speed, the writing, you know, um, uh, the quality of the you know, words, it goes on deteriorating as you go down. Why go down even to the end of the same line? Because the ability to write is gone. Even two signatures I had to sign, they never come to places, you know. They are every time different. One person asked me to sign three, four times in one of the immigration. He said, this is not, this is, they are separate, I said, no, it's one. No, you signed before me, I signed again. See, they are not separate, so what can I do? But why do you like this? I said, I believe in the utter present, every time fresh. <laughs> not a mechanical. Otherwise, the same thing like a stamp, that is not the life. So, also, when you have reached the ultimate in your life, then there is no need, there is no urge to talk. See? It is something like this. <clears throat> when you, we breathe, we don't have any effort. Breathing is never done. Breathing happens. Pranayam is done. And therefore, we get tired of pranayam. We get exhausted. We want to stop. No, enough pranayam. No, enough. Because their eye is born. So wherever there is effort, there is eye. When there is no eye, there is no effort. Before we sleep, there is effort. I want to sleep, I want to sleep, I want to sleep. And when this eye disappears, then there is no effort. So all of us snore effortlessly. Try to snore when you are awake. You cannot. Because in the deep sleep, eye disappears. 
Therefore, friends, this silence is a sign of abundance in the Absolute. And this is how this text Saddarshan brings out it many different ways. Another important thing, <coughs> spiritual practice is not a drill, like the yoga is a drill. Take this leg here, take, take that leg there and do the um, Padmasana and suffer silently. No. It is every time, every meditation is fresh. It is never done before. See friends, any experience which is repeated falls in the purview of finite. Infinite cannot be repeated. See the sounds. Ram, 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 Ram. You can repeat. Try to repeat the silence. You cannot. Because it is uncreated. It is infinite. In this, we have darshanam, the experience of the truth. This is the approach Bhagavan Ravana Marshi has lived. After having established in the truth, then for a time pass, he was studying scriptures. So in fact, Bhagavan Ravana Marshi and we belong to the same category. He started studying scriptures for a time past after realization and we start studying scriptures also after realization. But our field of realization is different and his field of realization is different. Our field of realization is never try to improve the wife or the husband. Why say you That's it. Relax. Then what is to be done? Uh, let us study scriptures. That's all. It's only for a time pass. And those who have understood this principle of time pass, they are the followers of Bhagavan Ramana Maharishi. Narayana. The first two verses go offering prayers to the Lord. Sat pratyaya kim nu vihaya santam ruddesha chinta rahito rudakyaha katham smaramastamameyamekam Tasya Smruti Tatra Drudaiva Nishtha Sat Pratyaya Kimnu Vihaya Santam Can there be an experience where existence is not involved? Experience of any kind is always in the form of existence. This camera is existence. This mic is existence. They are two because in between them there is nothing. See? We cannot have the experience of absence. Even the experience of absence is in the form of existence. See friends. And if our attention is on this pure existence, then presence and absence are equal. See friends. Sound is existence. Silence is existence. But the sound and the silence, they are opposed to each other. If there is sound, there is no silence. If there is silence, there is no sound. But there is one factor which is supporting the sounds and which is also supporting the absence of the sound and therefore beyond the sound and the silence. Now see, when I say the sound, focus attention on the sound. Then I will slowly increase the gap between the two sounds then focus attention on the absence of the sound. 
then third time i will say erratically sound and silence then focus attention on your own self shri ram shri ram Sri Ram, Sri Ram, Sri Ram, Sri Ram, Sri Ram. Now see the three stages. Even the bird understands. He is competing with me. The so sound, silence, and we are. Beyond sound and silence. Sat pratyaya kimna vihaya santam rudesha chinta rahito rudakya ha. Then our experience is chinta rahita ha. Thought free experience. I am seeing you and you are seeing me. Through the agency of vision, which is nothing but a thought. peeping out of the eyes is vision and if you close your eyes the thought will not be formed you cannot see but there is one experience chinta rahita ji krishna varti says objectless awareness chinta rahita rudakya and this is called as hrudayam hrudaya is harati ayam iti hrudayam the one who takes away everything see colors and forms are taken away by the vision if the vision is close no colors and forms seen when the vision opens all the colors and forms are as if vomited out of the vision and when we close the eyes the vision is absorbed and along with that vision the whole world of names and colors and forms is withdrawn so harati that which loots away everything that is hrudayam so for the colors and forms eyes are the hrudayam the heart for the eyes the mind is the heart if your ears are open i am talking but if your mind is not behind your ears you won't understand anything otherwise also we don't understand see and then this mind's heart is the pure consciousness and consciousness is the expression of the absolute it is beyond consciousness versus inertness हरति हृदय हृदाख्या चिंता रहिता द कलर्स एंड फॉर्म्स आर सीन बिकॉज ऑफ द आईज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ आईज इज एस्टैब्लिश बिकॉज ऑफ द माइंड माइंड इज एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस ओनली इन द कॉन्शियस बीइंग द माइंड इज मैनिफेस्टेड and because of that there is again duality consciousness versus inertness but the truth is beyond this relative pairs of complementary opposites therefore ruddesha chinta rahito hrudakya when this is said okay how to remember god ram 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 how to remember god so here the question is katham smaramah तम अमेयमेकम हाउ शुड बी रिमेम्बर हिम अमेयम विदाउट एनी इम्प्यूरिटी विदाउट एनी डिजीज सी हेल्थ इज नॉट क्रिएटेड बाय डॉक्टर्स डॉक्टर्स रिमूव ओनली द डिसीज एस्पेक्ट देर फॉर ईज एंड डिस ईज लाइक यू नो you are at ease or you are at disease this is me you are not at ease what is being at ease you are your own being see 
So that ameyam ekam, that flawless, absolute, one without a second, how can I know that? How can I remember God? Katham smaramaha. Because we have been again and again told, think of God, remember God, Ram, 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 Ram. And they give a bag and they take out this finger to point out, Tum kuch nahi kar rahe, mai jab kar rahe. See? So, how do I remember God? We all have been trained right from childhood. Then we have to remember the God by repeating the name. And we keep on repeating it. Here the teacher says, Tasya Smriti Tatra Drudahi Vanishta. Knowing is being. That experience where knowing and being is established, that is Saddarshanam. See, you have done nothing. There are no efforts. If you chant Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, the efforts are there. If you do pranayam, you will forget. Kidar se khicha da, kidar se chhodna hai. If you sit for asan, you start getting pain here, pain there, pain, pain everywhere. If you give something in charity, then you will ask account. Oh, man, the spicy day, the kya kya? BDP. See? But in being is effortlessness. And effortlessness can be possible only in the infinite. Wherever there is finite, efforts are involved. See, friends. Tasya smriti, tasya tadrudai vanishtha. The firm abidance in. It is not the experience of. We have the experience of music, experience of food, experience of journey, experience of uh, comforts, experience of disease. This is not experience of, it is experience itself. Mrityum jayam mrityubhiya shritanam aham matir mrityum upaiti purvam Atasvabhavat amruteshu teshu katham punar mrutyu dhiyo vakashaha. Mrutyum jayam mrutyu bhyashritanam. Those who have sincerely surrendered at the feet of mrutyum jaya, the Lord, who is, who has already transcended the, the, the area of death, mrutyum jaya. Lord Shiva, here it means. Now be attentive. Those who are afraid of death, they take refuge at the feet of the deathless. <coughs> and thereafter, before the death of the body, see there are six factors and the fear of the six factors together is called as hell. And freedom from the fear of these six factors is called as Swarga or the Heaven. The six factors are two factors with reference to the gross body, the old age and death. Then there are two factors with reference to the Prana Kosha. They are hunger and thirst, Ashana Pipase. And the two factors with reference to the Manomaya Kosha is the grief and delusion, Shoka Moha. Six of them. Kathopanisha defines heaven. Heaven is not a, a place that you go to that place and then the beautiful Apsaras will come there. Last time I told you, in Hindi, the officers are called as Apsar. So, Apsaras, all the wives of the government servants are Apsaras. So, that is not the heaven. Heaven is a fearless existence. And fear of what? Fear of the six factors. So, 
स्वर्गे लोके न भयम किंचनास्ति न तत्र तम न जरया विभेति उभे तीर्वा अशनाया पिपासे शोकातिगो मोदते स्वर्ग लोके व्हाट इज द हेवन फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल न भयम किंचनास्ति देयर इज नो फियर ऑफ एनी काइंड व्हिच आर दोस फियर्स न तत्र तम ओ लॉर्ड डेथ एंड द फियर ऑफ ओल्ड एज न तत्र तम न जराया विभिदि जरा इज ओल्ड एज so that fear freedom from the old age and death freedom from the ashanapi pase hunger and thirst and shoka moha that experience of fear free being is swarga ga is gati so is your own being you can attain that only when you abide in your essential self not by any other means therefore here अहम मति मृत्यु रूपयति पूर्व सो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप दैट हैपेंस व्हेन यू प्रे टू द लॉर्ड द आई डिसअपियर्स सी भगवान से इन भगवत गीता सेवेंथ चैप्टर दैवी हेशा गुणमयी मम माया दुरत्यया माम एव ये प्रपद्यन्ते मायाम एताम तरन्तिते माय दिस त्रिगुणात्मिका दैवी माया इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रांसेंड हाउ एवर दो सरेंडर टू मी दे गो बियॉन्ड दिस माया ऑफ द लॉर्ड नौ सी एंड व्हाट इज द सरेंडर सरेंडर इज वेन अ वेव सरेंडर्स टू द ओशन व्हाट विल हैपन टू द वेव द वेव विल डिसअपियर ओशन कैन बिकम द वेव द वेव कैनॉट बिकम द ओशन when the ornaments will surrender to the gold what will happen the gold will remain the specific position of name and form and utility associated with the ornament will disappear see friends therefore <coughs> the first thing that should happen as a spiritual practice is aham mati i must start dissolving like an ice cube you throw in the ocean after a few hours or so slowly it start dissolving in the ocean and it was none other than the waters alone in the same manner we are none other than the divine reality because of the name and the form and the utility of the iceberg we are separate from the ocean and what is our separation one third is seen Death is two third. In the same manner, one third is our personality. You go deep into your own being; the truth is revealed. See, now if the I disappears, what are the symptoms of disappearance of I? symptoms are very simple the first symptom is prajahati yada kaman sarvan parthamanogatan atmanne vatmana tushtah stita pradnistha dochate the vid the wisdom remains steady wise people's wisdom is not unsteady our wisdom is when somebody is else it is in a problem we have all the wisdom to offer but when the same problem comes to us our wisdom gets evaporated then such a person becomes a philosopher socrates said i didn't say every man should get married if he gets a good wife he will remain happy if he gets a terrible one he becomes a philosopher see wives can really change your life so aham mati mrutyu mubaiti purvam the first i disappears see then athasvabhavat amruteshu teshu na in this manner he who is abiding in his essential immortal being see when this happens then katham punaha mrutyu dhivo adhiya avakashah will he thereafter ever have the fear of death see friends because who dies see there is one text sometimes study it's very beautiful 
and the text is um, appearing in Mahabharat and the name of the text is Sanat Sujatiya and there it is proved very methodically clearly there is nothing like death in this world. Death is an illusion. Marne bhi nahi dete. No, you cannot. <laughs> Neither you are born nor you will die. Then continue suffering. <laughs> Katham punaha mrityu dhyo kashaha. When you abide in your essential self, there is no question of any fear of any kind because you are nobody. The moment you become somebody, the punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam starts. Therefore, this is the prayer. Now, what is the prayer? Prayer is, dissolve your being into the Absolute. Instead of remaining what we are, being, we become. And becoming is, be associated with coming is becoming. So, where there is coming, there is going also. Be going and be coming and there is no end to that coming and going. But in absolute being there is neither coming nor going. And therefore all the spiritual practice is this. Remain what you are. The effort the time required for reverting back to our essential nature is the effort and the time required for a wife to become a woman. How much effort and time will be required? Zero. Zero. Get married and then show. Zero. I can hear that. <laughs> Therefore, friends, this is the real meaning of spiritual practice according to Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. Now he takes up the studies, how we should think. See, I'll give you one basic principle about thinking. One of my spiritual practices is ironing my clothes, not anybody else's clothes. So, when the lungi is washed, it is dried and there are many wrinkles on that. And if you put on a lungi with the wrinkles, it doesn't look good. It looks very shabby. So what we do? We do ironing. Now be attentive. Now a shirt for example, which you can see. If the wrinkles are disorganized, the shirt looks ugly, dirty. What we do? We take the iron box and move around, all the wrinkles go away. Now question is, where do they go? Second thing. The disorganized wrinkles have gone. Then there are organized wrinkles called as the crease on the shirt. See? Now the crease on the shirt in a proper manner brings out the beauty in that cloth. But the disorganized wrinkles bring out the ugliness in the cloth. Is it not? In the same manner. Worrying is thinking in relation to somebody or something is like the wrinkles, disorganized wrinkles on the cloth of mind. And when the thinking is directional, self-oriented and not selfish, that thinking is like the, ring, the crease on the shirt which bring out, brings out the beauty. What we do in satsanga is bring this crease on the shirt. And what we do in the world is the wrinkles everywhere. Every wrinkle is becoming somebody. And every somebody is a problem for us. And therefore we are not one inside, we are a crowd. Mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, in-law. There is no end to that. And wherever there is a crowd, there can't be peace. See? This is what is meaning of study of scriptures. We have to learn how to think.
This we understand. Every damn little thing we have to learn. How to make chapati, we have to learn. Initially, the chapati becomes South Island of New Zealand. Mommy, mommy, why my chapati is like the yours is round? See? And then slowly you go on putting efforts. Then after many years, then it comes exactly round. So everything we have to learn, we understand. But when it comes to thinking, we imagine, I know. Thinking also is a scientific art. You have to learn how to think. And this how we should think on the spiritual path is the topic that we will be discussing here. Children think, old people complain. See, the basic difference. Because old people are having wrinkles everywhere. Children are having a nice crease. Therefore, children don't ask this question. Uh, why God has created such a terrible world? For the child, the world is beautiful. And for the old man, the world is terrible. So, let us learn the art of proper thinking. Sarvai nidanam jagato hamascha vacha prabhu kaschidapara shakti chitretra lokyam cha vilokita cha pata prakashopya bhavatsa ekaha. Sarvai hi, by all the schools of philosophy or thinking, nidanam, this is what is being inquired into. Jagataha Ahamaha Prabhu. What is this world? Who am I? And who is God? These are the three main inquiries conducted in every religion or spiritual inquiry. <coughs> what is this world? Who am I? And who is this God? So, Sarvai nidanim jagato mahascha hamascha vacha prabhu kaschid apara shakti. And they come to a conclusion, there is some infinite power behind these three principles of Jiva Jagat Ishwar. Everybody talks about it. And chitritya lokam cha vilokita cha pataha prakashaha bhavasapi ekaha. And in this picture of Jiva Jagat Ishwara, there is one light. That one light is illuminating everything. The Jiva, the Jagat and the Ishvara. And he is not many but one. In Panchadashi there is 10th chapter where it is called the Natak Deep. See? Like the lamp here. This lamp is illuminating <coughs> the audience the accompaniments, then uh, the intellect, the dancer, the owner of the hall, Prabhu, everybody is illuminated by one light. When more audience or more people are added, there is no burden for the light to illuminate. When all of them disappear, there is no loss to the light. In the same manner, be attentive. Whether it is a waking experience of no or no knowledge, experiencer, experienced, and experiencer, the um, triputi, the trio of the waker, waking, and the waking experience, so also the dream, deep sleep, and samadhi, all of them are illumined by one light, and this one light is never absent. See, Bhagwan says in Bhagavad Gita, 15th chapter. We chant it only, but we don't go into the depth of understanding. Like it is said, Sarvasya jam ruti sanya vishtaha matta smriti jnana mapo anancha Vedaishya sarvairaham eva vidyaha vedanta krut veda videva chaham Mechanically chanted, ah, khana kao. Om ramar vanam ramo hivrava. The 15th chapter is chanted only for eating food. No, sarvasya cha aham rudhi sanya vishtaha. I is, not am. Bhagavan will say I am, but we have to understand objectively. This I would, what we are understanding, 
I, husband, I, wife, etc. That is not the real I. It is the spurious I, a virtual I. The real I is the sarvasachaham rudhi I am the heart of everything. This real I is the heart. And because of this real I, smriti, dream, jnanam, waking, apohanam, deep sleep, chakara, samadhi, four experiences are possible. That is the real I. Therefore, here, pato pata prakasho api bhavatsa ekaha, so he is everything. Meaning what? When you inquire what is the world, you will end up in Paramatma. When you inquire what is the jiva, the I, you will end up in Paramatma. When you will inquire what is God, you will end up in Paramatma. In short, unless I disappears, he doesn't manifest. The I has to disappear. And this I which is disappearing, find out where he has gone after disappearance, nowhere. Like the wrinkles on the cloth. When we move the iron box, where do the wrinkles go? One person asked me this question. So, Amiti, what you are telling is true. Logically, it is perfect. But tell me, you say, when you realize the world disappears. In case of rope and snake, I understand. The snake doesn't disappear. Remain. But when uh, wise people are living in this world after realize, realization, they see this world where the world has disappeared. I want to know what happens to the world after realization. This is the question. I said, if you have really realized the rope as a rope, will you inquire what oh, the but where the snake has gone? Let me find out. See, friends. Therefore, every question is only a theoretical approach, not a practical experience. And if we really abide in the truth, one thumb rule I will tell you, another one, very simple rule, that about which you have no question and no doubt is you. So find out. We have no question and no doubt about our being. That's it. The any time any question enter, uh, enters the mind, select, shift, delete. Don't entertain any question. But why? Suffer. Nobody can help. Therefore, there is but one reality which is illuminating this appearance of Jiva Jagadishwara. See, I had given this example. In today's world, Bhagavan Ramana Vashya gave in a very scientific manner, I will give in a light manner. These days cricket, there are three or four parties in any cricket match. One is the batting party, second is the bowling party, third is the umpire and fourth is the ground. Imagine, <clears throat> if the batting party gives walkover, is there any necessity for the fielding party to remain on the ground? They already won. When these two teams have gone, what will the umpire do? Eat mungfali. And when all of them go away, will there be any loss to the ground? Now apply this principle. Who becomes out? Not a baller, not an umpire, not the ground. It is the batsman who is out. It is the batsman who earn the runs, etc. In the same manner, in this mega gala uh, international cricket match, the jiva is the batsman. The jagat, the world is the bowler. Ishwara is the umpire. If you do very good ball, he will never appreciate good ball. If you hit a sixer, he will never appreciate. Hey, good. No. But if you do the mistake, he will point out. No wall. See? And when all of them disappear, nothing happens to ekaha, the substratum on which this match of bowler, batsman and the umpire was happening. This is our essential nature. 
You don't have to create. Therefore, even a single question, even a single thought comes in our mind about doing something to this world, we are far away from the truth. See, friends. Therefore, Pataprakashopya Bhavat Sekaha Arabhyate Jeeva Parat Jeeva Jagat Paratma Tatva Vidhane Matam Samastam Idam Trayam Yavadaham Matisyar Sarvotamaham Matishunya Nishtha. See? Now, Samastam Matam, all the philosophies, they begin with this inquiry into these three. Jiva, Jagat, Paratma, Tattva. What is the Tattva, the essence of Jiva? What is the essence of the Jagat? And what is the essence of Paramatma or the God for this year? And when you start the inquiry, then what happens? Now be attentive. The inquiry about the world is not conducted to prove that the world is created. See? The inquiry about the world is to know and experience our essential nature. Not anything to do with the world. Similarly, the inquiry about God is not to see for the God, but to know what is our essential nature. That is the purpose. Now see, the unknown is indicated with reference to the known. This is the rule. See? Do you know her? No, I don't know her. Yeah, she is a um, daughter of so and so. Oh, that so and so I know. Then she is his daughter. After you have known her with reference to her father, whom you knew, thereafter then you start interacting with her. How are you? How are you? How are you? Etc. And thereafter, you are in a mess because of her. Next time, if anybody asks you, do you know her? No, I know her father. No, no, no. Now you have got the aparokshanavuti. Now you don't require her father to be indicated as. In the same manner, when we are looking at the world, the world is known to us. When you inquire into the world, the world disappears. And only the truth is remaining. See, the world is defined in our scriptures as Asti Bhati Priya Nama Rupa Iti Pancham Shakam Adyatrayam Brahma Rupam Jagad Rupam Tato Dvayam. See, this is that you know, uh, Chinmudra Adyatrayam Brahma Rupam Jagad Rupam Tato Dvayam. That which is holding is the Jagat. That which is unholding is Paramatma. And what do we hold? Snuff. See, all the snuffy fellow, they have got, you know, this Jnana Mudra. See? Because they are holding on to. In the same manner, the moment you learn the art of unholding, unpossessing, unrelating, and therefore, unbecoming and undoing. See, all the spiritual practice is uh, control Z, undo what you have been doing. That's it. But for us, spiritual practice is doing something, doing something, and then we end up in the mess. Therefore, Tattva Bhidhanena, let us inquire into what is this world, what is this uh, jiva and who is the God. Then when you start inquiry, the teacher says, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before inquiring into these three, first come to know. These three are valid only if you are there. If you are not there, where are the three? Therefore, idam trayam yavad aham mati syad. See, friends, aham mati yavad syad. As long as this I is there, then only the question about jiva jagad ishwar will come. Now do this experiment, very simple experiment. Sit as you are sitting, don't change your posture. 
posture ananda is different see now you become mother father and see the thoughts now stop second you become husband and wife and see the thoughts stop now remain as nobody stop experiments over when you became mother father thoughts came about the children when you became husband wife the thoughts came about wife husband respectively when you remain nobody where is the world see friends therefore real spiritual practice is unbecoming and for unbecoming what is the rule undoing see therefore anyone who has to do anything in this world will always use us he cannot guide us because he has to do something in this world therefore idam trayam yavad aham matisyat till such time i is there then for him alone the jeeva jagat ishwar is true and then let us serve the society <coughs> let us improve the society see and thereafter um let us um, you know do some punya karma so that we can go to heaven let us propitiate god and all these three fellows jeeva jagadishwar they are abiding in this i notion the moment i as a husband disappear no problem of wife i as a wife disappear husband is never an issue this is all spiritual practice friends now once you take to this you will see you will be effortlessly remaining nobody without becoming a spiritual master or without doing anything to this world some of the followers of mahatma gandhi and vinoba bhave approach bhagwan ravan marshi uh, sir why don't you tell your followers to jump into the freedom movement he said uh, which freedom freedom for whom who is bound so they got disgusted then they thought you know he has not understood his question every fool thinks his question is genius but they don't understand fools only ask questions so again they repeated he said yes i understood your question then again i'll tell you and he said if you see a fire lit on the screen of a movie and in that lit fire big house is also caught up and some ladies and children are caught up in that house will you go with a bucket of water and throw on the screen think when goodness happens it is spiritual path when goodness is done it is samsara see whenever something is done somebody is born and then there somebody will have the whole life history therefore idam trayam yavat aham matisyat then sarvottama aham matishunya nishtha so what is the best way remain as nobody that but we should actually mean it not only one person in gujarat gujaratis are very unique characters in the world one person he has been attending my lectures regularly and once he um, came for one of the camp and gave me one card mr nobody his own visiting card mr nobody uh, home address don't know phone number nothing um does 
undoer what is unbecomed so i looked at it i tore it and threw yeah why did you throw it i said unthrown <laughs> see friends this is not the meaning See, the meaning is when you remain as nobody then the first thing that happens you stop reacting to the world see when somebody tells hey your child you know failed badly he broke his leg you are reacting no 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 not your child your neighbor's child then it's okay thank god that means somebody else's child uh, broke the leg it's thank god if it is my child the whole samsara is born See, friend, just become aware of this principle. We become somebody, and then the samsara begins. And the burden of this becoming and possessing is samsara. See, if you consciously recognize this principle, what we have done till date, only one thing: possess, 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 and become, become, become. Even the children, we ask this question: "Beta, what do you want to become?" See, one mother was glorifying her stupid child, and uh, she told me, "Swami ji, my son, you know, he knows Ramayana by heart. Every dialogue he knows. You can ask him anything." I said, "Okay, hey, uh, what do you want to become after listening to Ramayana for so many times?" He said, "I want to become Swami ji Ravana. Ha 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 ha. Ramanan Sagar will commit suicide." So his mother says, "I say, Mama, really, what you told is true. Your son has heard Ramayana perfectly to become Ravana. See, friends, we don't have to become anybody. Remain as nobody. It is for this purpose we go to sleep, even in satsang. Because what for we come to satsang?" Not to become anybody. Here, none of us is a professor, doctor, engineer, rich or poor, Indian or non-Indian, a Brahmin, a Kshatriya. No, 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 no. We are nobody. And you remain nobody. You can very comprehend the truth quickly. But if you become somebody, then you are lost. See. And the best way to become nobody is to come to satsang and sleep. All those who sleep in satsang, I like them the most. The reason is my mistakes; they don't catch. <laughs> See, friends, sleep is nothing but remaining as nobody. And when we remain nobody for a longer period of time, are we not fresh? Now, why we are tired in the day daytime? Because we are the mules carrying the burden of somebody's and some possessions. And whenever there is a burden, you want to unburden it. That's it. Therefore, this is what is the truth. Follow this path and be happy. Sarvottama aham matishunne nishtha. It's very simple. One uh, Sindhi gentleman asked me this question on Bombay Airport. He came and he said, uh, "Can I sit here?" I said, "How do I know whether you can sit or not?" No, can I sit here? I said, "I do not know whether you can sit or not." He said, "I said, you mean, may I sit here?" Ha ha. Why do you say that? I said, "No, it is wrong. If you talk English, talk proper English." Okay, okay. Jo bhi hai, bato, mere bato. Then he asked me, "Baba ji, what is your name?" I said, "Baba ji." He said, "No, real name." I said, "This is a real name, Baba ji." Okay, who is your guru? So I immediately touch his feet. I said, "You are my guru, Maharaj, Guru, Jai Jai Parab Brahma Sat Guru." He said, "Do you talk straight?" I said, "No. I walk straight on a zigzag path." Then he said, "How do you go to different places?" I said, "By flight now." But then, who gives you ticket? I said, "People like you. I like, for example, you met me. You will not go me without giving anything, is it not? Caught." <laughs> He got so disgusted. Then he said, "You are the second Mahatma who came in my life who had made me miserable." I didn't ask who was the first. Why? What is there? 
one of the best spiritual practices don't talk about yourself don't ask anybody about them very high spiritual practice so he said there was one pragya chakshu swami sharanan ji maharaj in vrindavan he was blind he never spoke about himself or told anything to anybody he said you are the second one who has made me miserable anybody will go to him he will talk about everything except himself see i said the reason is if you are somebody then you can talk if you are nobody what will you talk think friends mauna vyakhya prakatita par brahm tatvam yuvanam truth can be revealed only in the eloquence of silence but we remain we follow maunam 8 to 9 maunam during that time inside there is nilofar you know the hurricane which is coming inside not so cock 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 going on no moon 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 the moment it is 9 o'clock boom and then there is a volcano happening see friends real mauna is you remain as nobody you have nothing to do no where to go see it's very easy it's not difficult at all continuing further where we get lost about the world discussion satyam rushava chididam jadam va dukkham sukham veti mudha vivadah adrushta loka niraham pratitihi nishta avikalpa parama kileshta so here are the topics where we get lost in unwanted discussion whether this world is real whether this world is an illusion whether this world is consciousness whether this world is inert whether there is joy whether there is misery mudha vivadah it is a useless discussion in the thing you are going to get out of it these discussions which are unconclusive should be totally avoided one of the best spiritual practice again one thumb rule our narad maharshi says vado na avalambyah do not take refuge in arguments and logic this is one of the principle when anybody talks to me i tell them okay i'll talk to you on these two condition no discussion no argument immediately you are at peace but you know but there is no butting this is all you have freedom to accept or reject no further discussion see because no discussion can be conclusive there can be always offshoots of various standpoints from various standpoints therefore mudha vivadah then adrushta loka niraham pratitihi the the moment niraham pratiti when you experience being as nobody the whole world disappears as a husband i am miserable because of the wife my world is wife's world but when i am nobody wife and her world disappears one devotee went to the lord and told him oh god what yes see me and she we were good friends for many years then that time we were happy and then we got married why i am miserable after marriage god said because that girl was created by me the wife is created by you how true it is the girl doesn't make anybody miserable the wife doesn't make anybody happy <laughs> that is why they you know they abbreviated a statement into a formula see the formula is w i f e worries invited for ever 
ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ